Good morning, everyone. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Welcome. Yesterday, we had a beautiful run. The whole market was uh, running beautifully from 9.30 all the way till the end. Um, for the ones that join us uh, today, uh, this market analyzer in conjunction with uh, this uh, uh, chart on the left hand side uh, this is uh, based on a signal entry and it comes with a three different automated trading it comes with an ATM ATM strategy and uh, and a full automated hand free uh, if you like to uh, if, you, if this is the first time you've been here uh, the signals comes here on the first column the direction on the signal as an example, uh, your NASDAQ entry is uh, 611.75, target 75.95. When the target hit, it says the target hit. And uh, we are using the basic instruments, ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, all of them the same. Some of the targets already hit for the last 15 minutes. It didn't take that long to hit those targets. We have the, target, uh, the NASDAQ uh, hit uh, uh, 52 ticks, uh, 68 ticks on the YM, and we have a target hit uh, is uh, the Russell, and then we have the 6E hit the target. It's the same principle here on the, um, uh, on the Forex. Uh, both of them uh, on the market analyzer is based on one minute, one minute every day. We do not use different charts that chart is one minute every day and the market analyzer based on a straight one minute nothing in it all those trades here they are based on one lot uh, the market analyzer for the forex is based on a 10,000 10k you can see on the top says 10k so for many accounts at the moment you are in the pips 357 pips on the forex so do not underestimate, uh, even on a micro account, how the system function. Also, you can use that uh, for uh, stocks, if you are interested in stocks. But I mean, we only, on a YouTube live, we only allow to have one screen. Maybe later on, we can find an alternative uh, to use two screen. Um, then uh, we have a market analyzer here. The market analyzer, this one here, is a base on the scalpers. And we are using one minute or 150 ticks. The one minute is a conservative and 150 ticks is a, an, a, a bit aggressive. Then we have the, uh, uh, the Ninja Trader 8 controller. And we can keep our eye on the uh, trade. Uh, for swing trading and it seems like today we have uh, the 30-year treasury bond they are in a very good move and then we have the CL uh, doing very well and the ES so we're going to keep our eye on those three instruments uh, the NASDAQ has been running uh, fine and uh, not like yesterday yesterday was extremely beautiful uh, I mean right after we we were done with the a life uh, on a YouTube, uh, the, uh, the market analyzer keep hitting one thousand after the other. I mean, if this market can stay like this for one year, moving every day, you you could probably you would have get money enough to live the rest of your life uh, without working. But uh, sadly, as uh, what I said yesterday, the market uh, had a beautiful run yesterday. Amazing. No matter what you touch, you were making money. Today, the market is a bit uh, conservative on the movement. It's still smooth out. It's a smoothing. It's, uh, but still, there is some uh, conservative uh, area where we need to, uh, not like yesterday, uh, yesterday, no matter what you've done, anywhere you turn around, anyway, with our system, you would have made money, whether you are auto trading, scalping, even on the scalping by now, yesterday, we had around a couple thousand on the market analyzer, we had like around 500, uh, around 10 o'clock. Uh, 
So today it's still nice and smooth, but it's not, uh, it's like you are on a freeway, you know, where uh, the market is just moving. Uh, yesterday, the, the movements in the market reminded me before the internet came out, that's how it used to be actually. The market uh, used to be uh, a move a lot, but when the, I mean, there is everything plus and minus. Uh, when the, the internet came in uh, to the trading uh, that a uh, few years ago, that smoothed out the prices a lot, where uh, people now have the challenge to uh, get in and out of a trade within seconds, where before, yeah, you know, it was like, you know, you had to call the broker and all that. So right now, um, uh, we are approaching this market a little bit cautiously today. Uh, the the forex actually, uh, if we look at the forex, is uh, is really what is driving that market a little bit today. We have a new signal right now on the ES. You can see there is a new signal on the ES. Is giving you the entry. Uh, the entry price on the CL is ninety four twenty five. Your target is eight ninety nine. Uh, 50 and uh, if, if you ever wanted to copy those trades uh, you are on your own we're not responsible for your trade we're not collecting your name your email we are we are just helping uh, traders uh, to uh, to analyze this market but whatever you do with those signals uh, it is on your own risk we're not responsible for your trade please and um, so be careful um, right now let's go ahead and analyze what's going on on the es i need to keep my eye on the cl so we're gonna go ahead and put a chart and see what's going on the auto trade has taken that trade uh, on the es but let me show you those are your 35 dollar zones right now we have a lot of buyers uh, coming in on the ES, and this is very good. What is the problem is at the moment with the signal, we have one, two, three, four, five, five, uh, five resistance level right above that number. The auto trade took that trade. Okay, fine. Now what we are looking for, we need to keep our eye on the buyers and the sellers at the left corner here, where it indicate the market is very strong and the buyers is over the sellers. Actually, those indicators here, the buyers over the sellers, they come in conjunction with a six different high time frame. And it look like it is uh, from the one minute to the 30 minutes is a very good strong momentum here. So now what we need is this ES is struggling in that area here. Uh, at the moment because of this double resistance. So those uh, the, those education we're trying to provide, they are totally free. But this is whatever, what, whether you are using our auto trade or somebody else auto trade, those are small things here and there that can help you uh, understand when you are trading manual or automated trading, stay in saying, that auto trade made 100 or lost 100 you should know why that auto trade lost 100 and made 100 a little education around the market kicking the tires before you start auto trading in the morning it is going to make a total different results at the end of the day and then we will be covering the dax because some other uh, some of you are following me on the dax trade uh, every morning and then we will be covering that uh, uh, at the moment, yesterday uh, we uh, we covered, and uh, especially uh, to our traders, uh, that no matter what you do with this one here, when the market pulled back, come into those level here, this is your re-entry point. This is called the safe entry re-entry point, and most of the time. Uh, the market get projected from those level here. Those are FIB level. The first one is a support line. The second one is a re-entry point. 
and the final destination for long is right there. This is the key between long and short and pullback and re-entry. So if we notice right now, this is a mid-band, this is a projection, and now this market is getting stuck between those two. It is very important when I want to come in and try to auto trade in the morning to make sure that market is not stuck in the channels and there is the movement before I decide when to jump on the CL, ES, NASDAQ down zones today. I want to know what's going on uh, to those trades and I need to know when I need to start. Should I wait five minutes or should I jump on the on the trade and right away? It is very important to to turn on your auto trade at the right time. If this market is falling into a lot of levels, that is gonna make a, 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 a total different. Every single day, the market sometimes get into chop areas. I don't wanna say chop markets because of chop areas. So sometimes this market is gonna jump to chop areas and maybe it is very important to wait five minutes to see what's going on. If, if you notice right now, I'm going to drag this one a little bit down. And this is the re-entry point where I was pointing to my traders. If you miss the signal entry, this is where most likely that market, you can re-enter from the re-entry price if you miss those signals. Because most of the time, the market projects from those numbers here. Another thing you can do, there is an opportunity to do, is to stand taking two contracts on this one. You can take one contract, and in those cases here, when we have it, I knew it right away when this uh, auto trade took that trade, I let it go. Uh, there is a problem, there is a five resistance level here, and the ES has to predict it. So we need a lot of buyers to penetrate those numbers here. This is where the re-entry numbers on the ES, and this is where, uh, as we speak right now, this is a re-entry point on the ES, and we will keep our eye on that. This is this area, if this market hit below the 89.50, does mean the long trade is over, and now it's nothing but short. So, it's very important to identify the pullback and stay on the same track as the trend because we are using a very small time frame. We are using one minute time frame. So it is very important to stay thinking long. As long as you are above those numbers, you are thinking long. And when you are below those numbers, you have to think short. And we will be covering that on the way uh, up. But this is here, as we say right now, the 8025, it is a very, very um, nice entry, uh, re entry, and anything below those numbers on the ES uh, is going to be a problem. Two things is the market analyzer, you can enter the market and exit. On the market analyzer, you have the entry target and does not move, does not update. So this is a very strict base. You can follow the market analyzer by entering the market from the market analyzer and exit the market from the market analyzer. The same principle is on the chart, but what does the chart is reconfirming or recalculating the re-entry and the targets constantly. So you can follow both, or if you want to, most likely if you want to use the fully automated trade, you you probably uh, be end up like the one in the market analyzer, but the only thing on the market analyzer is a tick by tick. And when you are using a fully automated trade is on the bar close. So this is the difference between those two and we are going to cover uh, those area. Uh, yesterday, I was surprised uh, a few people yesterday followed me on the trade on the CL yesterday. Yesterday, we called that trade here. And then we have even non-members uh, non followed me on that trade. And uh, and uh, they did very well. Some of them, they were on the sim. Some of them, they were live, which we're not responsible for any of your live trade. And then if you go back on the video, 
I told you probably once this one it gets out of this band, this is a closed position and open a position. And the, well, there is one guy did follow that steps. Once the market was uh, out of the, the band, he did uh, a closed position, open position. And uh, he called me, he said he never seen anything like that. So today uh, is a look uh, uh, on the, I want to take the uh, the CL today also on the Renko bar. We had an earlier a trade today. I was uh, with somebody. Uh, we we had an earlier uh, trade uh, today. This one here, an earlier today, we nailed it. And then uh, it happened to be did not go all the way up. If we notice right now on the CL, is a way out of the band, a resistance line, R4, and the, the system is already plotting uh, the sale order and is out of the band. It is very, very, and now we are sitting at the support line at uh, uh, 6938. Then the next stop on the CL, if you are going uh, to reverse that one, we have extremely uh, key on the 6929. Uh, we use the Renko bar only for reversal. We do not use the Renko bar to trade with the trend, but uh, also you need to keep your eye on the 6929 on the uh, CL. Uh, this is also a uh, very important key and it could be for a re-entry. And uh, uh, so you got to be careful uh, with the CL. Let me disarm uh, my Skype because otherwise I will not uh, be able to concentrate on the trade. So today is a bit slow uh, uh, with the future market. And you got to keep your eye on the, uh, on the, the whole trading so let's go back on the es to see where we are on the es we are still on the last stop on the es is right there and this is where is your re-entry point on the es so that's why i'll let it go to see what will happen on that cn it seems like we're gonna get a new uh, contract on the new entry uh, on the es if this bar gonna close so let's see what will happen. Uh, NASDAQ, uh, we still, we have a buy ES. Okay, we have a new signal on the ES. The new signal is 88.25, uh, target 82.25. Now, if we look at the ES, NASDAQ, down zones, look at this, they're all in the short, and the 30 year treasury bond in the short. That's why that ES has fell also because it's going on the same direction as the 30 year treasury bond. And this is really do not like it when the 30 year treasury bond going. And look, the YM is by the 30 year treasury bond is down direction and the ES is down direction and the uh, uh, NASDAQ. So, there is a play on the YM, and I will not uh, uh, try uh, to use energy on the YM at the moment. I don't like the way the, the YM uh, is playing at cards, and uh, there is something wrong in this market when uh, it's not in sequence like what we said yesterday. There is something wrong in this picture uh, right now with the YM NASDAQ. Uh, there are uh, going on the opposite direction and the 30-year treasury bond is a downside and the is going in the same direction with the ES. That right away indicate for you something is wrong in the market. Uh, and that is, uh, if you don't know what you're doing when you see those on the market analyzer, stop it. Wait a few minutes till we have a clear picture what's going on. Uh, in this market before you start uh, using the real money in the market.
Uh, at the moment, um, I don't like uh, the situation on the Nasdaq, on the 30 year Treasury bond going in the same direction with the ES. They should be going the opposite direction. So we will see what is the outcome on this one here. Immediately, when you see this uh, play in the market analyzer, uh, immediately you can see the impact uh, on your. Uh, uh, scalper immediately uh, you spot it uh, your your scalper start getting in trouble and you can see right now the scalper we do not hide anything we show you everything we show you good trades and bad trades you have to see everything so right now you can see the scalper getting in a lot of trouble uh, on the one minute and uh, uh, also on the 150 ticks let me try to bring you the 150 ticks. Uh, uh, the 150 ticks is still doing a little bit better than um, than the one minute, but uh, this is what you see, what you get for today on the scalper. Nothing we can do about it. So this is. Um, you can see uh, the, the one minute scalper uh, is in trouble. Uh, the 150 is doing much better, but uh, still uh, there is trouble in the one minute. And uh, of course it will recover immediately the minute the market start lining up the, the, those scalpers, they can immediately recover. Okay, we have uh, lost one trade on the uh, ES, and now we, we are trying to cover uh, those. What is nice about it, if you have a bad signal and it failed that signal, the newer signal is going to cover immediately a lost signal. You're not going to be uh, in a lot of uh, trouble with it. Uh, this is really right now the ES. We have a new signal on the uh, on the CL, uh, the entry is 69.19, target is 68.86, target 68.86, and uh, the entry is 69.19, and it is short. On the pullback, the entry is 69.54. You're very welcome to follow those trades on a SIM. Uh, the 30 year treasury bond is in the same direction on the ES. So I have no clue what the ES is going to do. Let's look on the reversal of the trade uh, from uh, the CL entry. This is your reversal trade out of the band reversal. You have a sell signal. And this is your mid band. Um, actually, here there is a re entry point on the CL and then. So we should be looking around 68 mini. We'll find out once this market gets back to those area here. I will keep our eye on it. But right now we have a short on the CL. A very, very, very mixed market. Uh, for uh, what happened on the DAX, I want to, uh, every morning I show you my one minute uh, DAX on the swing trading. And I show the other uh, uh, time frame. And uh, my favorite chart while we are waiting on that trade here. 
my favorite chart on the swing trading is the uh, the DAX one minute and the reason I like the DAX in the morning because it takes one or two trade you either hit the target or you're done and it's over and you can make the same amount of money as trading the ES the whole week so um, oh, it was a chop earlier this morning so on the ES usually is one or two trade uh, on the DAX with the swing trading and today uh, took three trade and uh, and uh, that's okay but it, it nailed around 2900 but here here is why I like the one minute better than the others I think yesterday the 244 and the 288 takes uh, made 4,000. If you go back on the video from yesterday, uh, my e, my DAX on the one minute made uh, the same, almost the same, couple thousand something. But yesterday uh, on the 288 uh, made 4,000. And if you go back to yesterday video, you will find a made 4,000, either the 288 or the 244. But I do not trade the 288. They usually have more money, but I like the one minute stability. Uh, yesterday, it made that kind of money. And today, uh, uh, the market on the DAX 288 uh, has not been able uh, to... Uh, to make or catch any good trend. So if we look at this condition on the 288, a uh, little money on this one here, barely break even. This one here, barely break even, so there is nothing in it. And there is a, one small uh, trade right there. It was a short at 1035, and then uh, exit at 105. So it's not much at all. So uh, this is nothing, uh, just a couple takes. So uh, this is the ones made 4,000 yesterday and today did not get anywhere and actually is a flat and it didn't make money. Where when yesterday the market was uh, moving, it nailed, uh, it nailed 4,000 in one trade and it was amazing. So for the guy is following the DAX and how to trade the DAX, you should not be trading the DAX every day. Uh, if you are using a one minute or you are using uh, the, the three minutes or the five minutes or the 288 ticks, uh, it's not unusual for the DAX to nail a couple thousand dollars on one trade. And if this market move in one trade, you're done. The whole idea, the whole idea and the DAX is, um, the whole idea, uh, the whole idea on the DAX is to make a budget once the the, the DAX hit a couple thousand dollars mm -hmm. you should stop in other words if uh, stand making daily target once you hit your daily target let me let me let me retract a little bit from this one here whether you have whether you have uh this one here i don't have a daily tar a target 2000 what i have on a daily target 1000 uh, the auto trade whether you are your daily target uh, 1000 or 500 is irrelevant if your target is 500 or 1000 if you catch that trend the auto trade is if and the market is going to your favor it's not going to stop at 500 and it's not going to stop at 2000 uh, and 1000 or 2000 if this market is trending. So whether you have a daily target 500 or a thousand a day, if you catch a trend, it's going to stay on that trend if it is in your favor. So, uh, so the daily target become in a way irrelevant if this market is trending. So let's say if you are uh, putting one thousand dollar a daily target, and you hit Monday two thousand or Tuesday two thousand, my opinion you should stop trading the DAX 
and uh, try to turn around uh, when the markets open in the US turn around on the Nasdaq if we look right now we are struggling with this uh, ES uh, but the Nasdaq is already way far gone and is done and hit the target and now we are uh, up to uh, uh, 238 ticks in the in the market so uh, those are very good but what I'm trying to say let's say let's say you made 2000 today on Monday and you lost let's say on Monday you lost a thousand and then on Tuesday you made 2000 then you are in a plus in 1000 so you are missing 1000 only for that week so let's say on Wednesday you hit this thousand and you're done do not underestimate it on the DAX because if you can start on Monday or start your DAX on Tuesday if you want it and most of the time on the one minute you're gonna nail your target on the DAX because the DAX move and like the ES sometimes move and it don't move but if you make it if you simplify that your daily your weekly target is 2000 in other words once you hit your 2000 Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday uh, you need to stop trading because this way you are protecting uh, your your what you earn and and I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow gonna make the DAX 4,000 or it's gonna lose 1,000 I have no clue what is gonna happen tomorrow because the unknown I try simplify the automated trade because those here on the DAX it takes one or two trade usually in the morning so on a two thousand dollar weekly four weeks this is eight thousand you know and if you play it safely that adds up by the end of the year and and uh two thousand your weekly profit that is gonna put you around eight thousand a month that is gonna put you around what a hundred thousand dollar a year i'm not gonna say you're gonna be rich tomorrow and go ahead and jump on the decks but what i'm trying to say if you are knowing what you're doing you wake up in the morning and try uh, to monitor those decks in the morning there is a lot of potential for you avoiding uh, the U.S. market and stand uh, going and uh, tinkling with the E.S. all day long, eight hours work. Uh, this is a, a place where uh, you can easily, um, even you can set the auto trade if you cannot get up early in the morning. You can set. I, I do not prefer for anybody not to to be with uh, the. Um, with the auto trade but you can set it up in the morning where uh, you can have it start the auto trade five six o'clock in the morning this is where I normally start those uh, auto trade around five six o'clock in the morning and um, uh, most of the time like uh, uh, yesterday I don't know how much it made 150 ticks uh, but today the 150 ticks you can see the chop on the DAX, this is a lot of a trace on the DAX, and I nailed 1,334, which I'm expecting from the DAX to take one, two trade, and uh, and uh, uh, there is a new signal on the YM, and there is a new signal on the gold. I'm sorry, I'm sitting here and talking, didn't pay attention. Uh, so, uh, so those are uh very nice uh to um uh to to think about it how it's much easier to uh to take uh, those trades anyway uh we had a new uh, we had a, a new signal on the um, ym now the ym es nasdaq they are in the same direction but I'm still having a problem with the 30-year Treasury bond. Uh, 
if we look at the ES, uh, the ES, if you are using the automated trading, we already recovered from the bad signal we had earlier today. So what is nice about it, if you have a signal fail, the new signal is going to recover immediately the bad signal we had before. So you're not going to be in a hole. This market, either long or short, if the long has fell, then the short is going to work. It's very simple. So there is an immediate uh, recover on, on a bad signal. So there is nothing to, to scare me away uh, from the price action because it's a technically, once it's below certain area, it's going to do it. If we notice uh, the ES can enter the target, if you are using the fully automated trade, you should be exiting right now. The auto trade will exit that trade for you and you are done. Okay. But I do personally like the ATM strategy because on the ATM strategy, I'm hoping to grab a little bit more uh, on the plate than what the auto trade is putting for me. So technically, uh, the auto trade has did his duty, has did his job. Give me the entry and the target and it's done as over. If you are using the fully automated, you're exiting that trade and you are done with that trade. We are in waiting on a new signal on the ES to take a trade. But for me, I find there is always a couple of $300 uh, different uh, in, the, in the profit if you can on every instrument, if you just be patient with it, and then uh, there is a good potential to earn a couple $300 on every instrument. So as an example, if we wanna uh, look at the uh, YM, uh, the target was uh, 61.50, and we are way above this target. And now you can see based on one contract, uh, on the NASDAQ is 1,305. So this is why I like uh, to use uh, the, the ATM because that is going to give me a more freedom to decide if I wanted to, uh, to, uh, to, to stay on that trade or if I need to, uh, to leave. And I can always overwrite and close uh, the trade now, if we want to cover uh, the, 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 uh, the, the NASDAQ, uh, here is our uh, cell entry. This is the re-entry point. This is a double resistance. And now we are way below our target. One thing is what we have done with the system. We have put two yellow lines here and here. Once this market penetrate those two, this area here, this dead zone area, there is no more short trade uh, is a good short trade in those areas. The reason is this is a very critical area. And if you take in a short in this area, the probability on that trade uh, is uh, two out of 10. It's not going to make it. So this is a very uh, a critical area to take any more short. I can see trade right now short. But I don't know how long it's going to take. This one is maybe five, six takes. It's not worth the trade. But uh, once this market come into this hard area, uh, there is no more trade on the NASDAQ. So uh, in, in an alternative, what I usually do, uh, if I wanted to uh, take this one and try to reverse this market, uh, we did this yesterday on the CL. and. Uh, I was impressed that some people, not even our member, uh, took those trades and they did very well on those. So what, what I do usually, I go ahead and uh, put the Renko bar and with the Renko bar, uh, when, uh, which we have covered how to reverse the market on those live on the YouTube, a few uh, videos back. And uh, I will show you how we can find an entry uh, based on the reversal and um, uh, we can uh, and then we can catch this trend right at the beginning of that trade uh, right now we already recovered on the es from the last bad signal and uh, now we are 
we have a small problem. Uh, there is a major support area at uh, uh, 87950. And if we look at this uh, uh, market here, is now is at this a critical area. So, so I'm, I'm not interested anymore uh, taking a short trade on that uh, ES, but uh, I will keep my eye. This is the final destination uh, on the ES. This is the final destination on the ES. Uh, also, the new signal. Okay, look, now we have, we will cover the NASDAQ and uh, we will cover the reversal on the NASDAQ. We have a new signal on the 30 year treasury bond and um, and um, let me see. I'm sorry. I'm trying to cover. I'm trying to cover three auto trades and three uh, a lot of instruments. Uh, just get an out of hand for me. Uh, just a second. It is very hard to cover uh, all those uh, and uh, trying to believe me. It is a very hard job. Uh, and. Um, here is uh, our ES. Maximum, maximum is going to be the 877. I'm not expecting anything. This is a, we lost one trade on the ES and we made double up on the ES immediately on the next signal. So this is not bad at all. Uh, let me look at the YM. Uh, also, as I remember, we called the trade on the new signal on the YM. Now, if we notice the 30 year treasury bond on the market analyzer is the opposite direction and the ES, NASDAQ, and YM. Now the market uh, is in sequence. And that's why immediately you will see uh, a lot of uh, results uh, in there. And also uh, the YM, whoever followed the YM, Now the mouth will not uh, let me catch the chart. Okay. Okay, finally. Uh, this uh, this is your uh, uh, YM and and uh, it's amazing this market. So we're gonna, you see? So the, that's why I like, uh, uh, I like it to for me, uh, controlling the, uh, the the auto trade. I want the auto trade to take the trade for me, absolutely. But I like to manage those trades because uh, like now the ES is way overboard on the short and stand walking away with a couple of $300. You can walk away with a thousand. It's not unusual. And uh, you know, do you remember we talked about the NASDAQ? Uh, when it's between those two yellow lines, look at now. Out of the bend, and now we have a reversal, and now this is just a little bit of trouble because the ES and the NASDAQ, uh, the, the YM and the ES dropped immediately. But uh, we'll keep our eye on this. Now if we uh, look at the market analyzer, If we, if we look at the market analyzer, we are 760, uh, seven, 769 ticks in the profit, 42 ticks on the ES, 388 ticks on the, uh, on the 377 on the NASDAQ, 33. This is what I have covered yesterday. I said, folks, um, uh, you know, uh, if you, if you have a small amount of money, uh, you can uh, trade every day the ES1 and NASDAQ1 and YM1, and you will never go home. I, I cannot say you never. I cannot say it's going to be every day, uh, but uh, it is. Uh, let me, I mean, how to put it nicely? Let me put it this way, it's very consistent. Maybe this is the proper, because there is nothing in this business uh, can guarantee 
there is not every trader uh, use the same auto trade or use the same system is going to be success trader. But what I can say uh, two words to this is they are very consistent. That's all what I can say. They are very consistent. If you follow the ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, one each every day, you, it, 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 this market analyzer is based on one minute, one contract, one lot. You do the calculation, you will see it's one lot, and I will open it and show it to you. It's a base on, on um, uh, one, one type. Is a base on one minute. And one contract. Okay. And that is every day, folks. This is every day. Uh, the ES is over. The party on the ES is over. And uh, the party on the YM is over. So this is where you need to close those trades. It's finished. It's over. The run is finished. The run is over. Uh, uh, the YM, uh, oh. I'm putting the same chart, smart. Uh, this is the YM. And, and this is your ES. And the party is over on the ES, that's for sure. And the YM as well. And, um, Let's look at the NASDAQ. You know, I couldn't, the market was going very fast. I wanted to, to try to catch the reversal on the NASDAQ, but I missed it. I couldn't do that. I'm sorry, guys. It, it is really hard. Uh, to chase everything in the same time. We are chasing a lot of instruments. Uh, let me look at the CL. This is the CL one minute on the swing trading. Uh, really not much going on. We have one almost a break even and we are in the, in the right direction on the swing trading. Uh, on the one minute at NASDAQ, you see we had a little chop. Uh, we are on the swing trading 970 on the swing trading. And uh, on the ES, Look, when the market was a chop, you see that it was a lot of trades, unnecessarily trade, and now it's 250, but we knew we could have overwrite that trade, the last trade uh, on, the, uh, on the ES. By looking at those zones, this will be, uh, you know, when, I mean, if you don't want to touch the auto trade, you don't need to touch the auto trade. But if you just interfere with uh, the auto trade, uh, that is going to uh, make a world of different. Look, the YM is finished. And um, now uh, stand collecting $1,000 profit on the ES. Now you are giving up all your momentum by not using the zone and identify where is the target. So when we are using those targets here with the zone, uh, there is a good potential on making a very consistent and interfering with the, with the let the auto trade take those trade, but it, let's try to maximize the profit on a winning trade this is an example. If you were using the fully automated, you would have got out of that trade with around $400. But if you were 
little bit patient and using the ATM when the market gave you a new target followed by a support line right here you nailed 1000 so the difference between two traders have the same entry but a different exit one trader is going to walk away with four hundred dollars and one trader is going to walk away with a thousand dollar on the same automated trade and the same entry the same exit now if we miss every day two hundred dollars on the es based on one trade only two hundred dollars on the nasdaq two hundred dollars on the ym that's six hundred dollars a day a total of a hundred fifty thousand dollar a year for somebody refusing to touch the chart he just taking them throwing them out of the window let's say there is not every day a winner let's knock it down to half not 150 let's say 75,000 a year he just taking them and tossing them out of the window for him refusing to interfere with the auto trade that is going to make a difference between if somebody wanted to be consistent move on with his life as a professional trader or some uh, somebody sitting and whining the rest of his life so now uh, the auto trade now we can see the es is 350 so you would have got out around 350 or 400 but when the market was all the way down here you could have walked away with a thousand so this is uh, something the traders uh, should uh, really reconsider uh, if they wanted to do that. Uh, we call the CL trade. We call the CL, as I remember. Uh, the entry was uh, 69.19 and the target 68.73. At the moment, you are into the profit 35 ticks. As a, a few minutes ago, uh, we had a new signal and we called it for you. Uh, right now, total of profit based on the last entry signal is 722 ticks. Question, how much it cost to run all those instruments? <coughs> Whether you have a million dollar or you have a thousand dollar or a ten thousand dollar, what you need to do first, practice for a couple of three weeks, the entry, the pullback, the target. I will go into the water slowly. Whether you have 100,000 in your account or 10,000 or 5,000, all the guy with 5,000, 10,000, 100,000, they should not start anything big. They should start one ES, one NASDAQ, one YM every single day, one trade. And then the best investment for you is to use those FIB lines. We have them for $35 a month. Why? Because right now the NASDAQ is in the clear. You see here? This is a clear, it's a tradable. But when you get up in the morning and if this NASDAQ diving in, in here, in this area, that NASDAQ is not tradable. So this is the best indication in the morning is to lay an empty chart to see what the hell is going on. Am I in trouble or this market is free? Is this market getting stuck in a channel or this market uh, is? So as long as this market right now, it is a free ride. You see that? It's a free ride and as God knows where it's taking us. If we start in the morning, we don't know this here. And we see only that areas here. This is very clean, actually very predictive but sometimes you have those lines they are very close to each other uh, could be let me see if i can get the es 
uh, could be the ES or something else, uh, that mean you need to wait a little bit, uh, five minutes or 10 minutes before you start uh, trading. Look at this, those are your fib lines. You know, we have covered the pullback re-entry many times. It was your re-entry. Reversal, you see this one, reversal. Exit, re-enter the market. Why exit, re-enter the market on the NASDAQ? You have one line, two line, three lines. It's going to be pretty hard to lose that trade if you short out that market. Where it's going? It's going right there. Right here. Right here. If you miss that trade, this is another trade. And then we will take it as we, we go. But this is a sell entry. This is a buy entry. If you are on a sell entry here, close open position right there. We know where it's going, this NASDAQ. We know exactly where it's going, this NASDAQ. So those are very, uh, very important uh, to to calculate. Uh, right now, we are on the NASDAQ 386 ticks from the last entry. Based on one contract, this is exactly what I was covering yesterday on the, to you guys, that keep your eye on the NASDAQ. It is the best performance on that system here. And then the second one is the DAX actually. Uh, but uh, uh, if you get up around seven, eight o'clock, chase those signal on the NASDAQ, um, I don't see where you can go wrong with it. You, of course you will have losing days, uh, but uh, mainly uh, your, your winning days are much higher uh, than your losing days. So, Right now on this uh, ES NASDAQ, it's nothing, we're just going in the circle. Uh, right now we are at 10.38, it's too early. If we notice on the, uh, uh, on the swing trading, the numbers are extremely slow. Yesterday, if you look at the video when the market was moving, uh, the, uh, there were a lot of 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Uh, today is only 300, 400. There is not much, except the DAX is a total different animal. But if we look from the 30 year treasury bond to the ES, Russell, CL, they are only in a small amount in numbers 300, 400, 500. So, so it's not, um, so I don't know. Uh, that's why I like the DAX early in the morning, because you don't have to sit down and uh, make a big mess out of your account and trying to chase the ES, because the ES mainly is becoming institutional. You have to know what you're doing with the ES. And um, we're on the DAX, one, two, done. Either you have a good day or a bad day, get it over with. Stand sitting and dragging for eight hours looking after the screen. You know, this is where um, if I ever wanted to one day call it off, I will take this uh, DAX in my suitcase and call it off uh, because on that DAX you can you trade it in the morning and then you will have the freedom all day long. I was wondering on that uh, trade on the DAX where, where, where it came from. It was from the 288. This one here yesterday, the 288 took one trade and it nailed 4,000. Today, it's been going in the spin all day long and has not been earning anything. It's actually flat and all of a sudden, when the DAX was moving, just banging on that. Yeah. So that's why, I mean, for me, I use the one minute, 2,000 a week, 
should make anyone happy. Once you reach your 2,000 a week, uh, stop it. Don't trade it anymore. Protect your profit. Sitting on a gambling table does not mean you're going to be winning. Sometimes you can be done in one day, two days. Last week, uh, the market was chopped. I didn't use it on Monday, Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday did make money. I think it was Thursday or Friday I lost. So I walked away uh, with uh, 1,000 on the DAX last week. But most of the time, I can close it within 2,000, 2,500 a week and then call it off. Don't, don't mess with it. Don't let the devil play with your head. Don't let uh, the greed uh, kill you. Uh, I know the other ones, they can make uh, more, but uh, I'm happy with the one minute. I can accept the one minute. And um, and um, I don't need uh, to chase 4,000, but you can use the 288 ticks if you want to. Uh, but I'm happy with the one minute. If it can bring 2,000 a week, I'm happy with it. And it can bring 2,000 practically every day. I cannot say every single day, but it's very consistent on, on uh, taking 1,500 uh, sometimes 1,000, sometimes 2,000. And um, uh, it is a very straightforward one, two trade. And you know how is your luck immediately stands sitting and uh, chasing an ES. Uh, I don't have that much patience for the ES. I like the ES, but um, uh, I grow to like the NASDAQ much more, honestly, because it's moving, the NASDAQ. I mean, look... <laughs> Uh, now we are 421 ticks on the NASDAQ and the ES is 34, 33 ticks. So that tells me the NASDAQ is a cheaper and it's moving. And maybe I don't have money to trade the DAX. Very fine. But I am on my way to trade the DAX and I'll keep banging on the NASDAQ until I become a master with it. You know, very simple. <laughs> right now we are 740. Uh, we have... Um, uh, this trade here, uh, of course, we we have to close it. I don't. I'm trying to teach you here. Uh, the ES is finished. Is over. We are waiting on a new signal. Actually, both of them they need to be closed. Uh, the market now is in sequence. The ES, Nasdaq, down zones into the wrong, uh, to the down direction, and the 30-year Treasury bond up. So that. This is immediately you can see uh, this market start uh, leveling up and it is done and over. Uh, folks, I need to take five minutes, get a fresh coffee and um, um, so I will continue in five minutes. Thank you.
we have a new signal on the YM. Uh, the entry is uh, the entry is uh, 963 and uh, the target is uh, 2631 is right there. The chart is a bit different. Sorry, we have a school next to us, and um, they unleash those kids sometimes. Okay, the ES is finished. Uh, whoever took that trade on the ES is finished. Uh, we're going to close it. Let's see if we can find any trade on the reversals. The NASDAQ, you know, I'm sorry, I, I, I should have got you this one here. It's totally out of the band, reversal, resistance line on the NASDAQ. That would have been a very nice reversal. Uh, let's look at the CL and that should have been a very nice reversal. And look, all of it in one line. You see, all of it is in one line. I missed it. Let's look at the CL situation, if there's any reversal. No, nothing. Right now the CL is jammed between those two. There is no trace on the CL for reversal. What else we have? There is nothing, it's finished, it's done. There is nothing to grab anymore. Whoever grabbed at the earlier trend uh, made it on the ES and uh, NASDAQ and Dow Jones. And whoever missed it, missed it. There is nothing left in this market. Right now, um, if we look at the YM, one minute. This is what I'm trying to, to tell you in the morning when you whether you want to auto trade or this is this is a trouble folks this is trouble we have no idea we are waiting on the es this is a trouble this is where any kind of instruments when it gets stuck between a lot of lines like this i'm trying to simplify it for you once it get caught in those fib lines is finished we need some movement because it's going to be followed by support, projection, projection, support, resistance. That is going to be causing a lot of losses. Let's uh, look at the ES. Uh, 
uh, the ES is much uh, a little bit cleaner. If you wanted to take an ES trade, should be around 86 level. But then even if you take that trade, you don't have much beef in it because you have to take it out at that level here, the 89.50. So this is not something I wanted to, to get involved in. And But this is the only things I can see as a trade with the ES. Another option, if you are patient enough, as an example, on the ES, now the short term is finished, the short. We just have to be patient. Once this market break out the 9050 on the pullback, you can re-enter. But uh, this area right now, I would not mess with uh, with those areas right now. This is a total high probability of losing on those areas in this area here. So there is a, a very, very high probability of losing on those areas here. So I would not want to mess with it. I, pro I probably, um, if you don't know what you want to do, you just wait till the new signal. And if you like to, I will be more than glad to stay a little bit longer and uh, try to pick up a new signal uh, on those and uh, see uh, if we can uh, pick up. Look, the ES is nothing to trade on the ES right now. Even if you start your auto trade right now on the ES, it doesn't matter where this auto trade come from he's going to have a problem. Uh, you're going to be the first trade right off the shelf, $200 down. That is not pleasant uh, to to start with $200 down on if you want to auto trade because this is a trouble. Also, there is a little bit on, on, on that one, like it's always very important the first trade to give you boost. Like this morning here, the first trade was not that much, but at least is a release. I mean, you know, but if we started here and immediately on the first trade, we we went in a hole, that's not a pleasant really, it is really aggravating. So it is very important also to, when you're trying to auto trade, trying to find, uh, wait five minutes, if there is a problem, wait five minutes and um, try to get out of a bad areas and then turn on your auto trade. Doesn't matter which auto trade you're using. Uh, as an example, uh, the ES, the NASDAQ is uh, beautiful. The NASDAQ did exactly what we were expecting. Pullback, re-entry, reversal, and the destination on that NASDAQ still is right here at uh, uh, 1650. This one is a tradable. Uh, right now, the ES and the YM are not tradable. They're not. Now, if this one here start breaking out on the first pullback, okay, I will take this one here. But uh, right now, I will not touch this market at all. Let's look at the YM. It is the worst one right now for YM a trader. This is one big mess. I don't want to dive into this mess. I want to wait. A breaking out. Pull back re-entry. Or if you are following the signals, you just follow the signals. You know. So there is nothing. We're about to have a new signal on the ES, so I'm gonna stay longer today. And uh, we're gonna try, we have an ES trade and a uh, new signal on the ES, uh, 94.75 the target, entry 86.50. 
Now on the pullback, this is uh, for the guys, the auto trade is gonna take those trade without a doubt. But this is a trick to my traders. You can do that, stand using two contracts on the signal. I will play it differently. Or if you have more money, I will do it also differently. Let's say none of us have money. We only have 3,000. We always try to concentrate on the three, $5,000 until we know what we are doing. And then you can put 50,000, 100,000 is irrelevant. Uh, one of the tricks to my traders you can do, you let the ATM take one trade, not two. Like the market analyzer, you take one trade. If that trade did go your direction, we are happy campers. We don't have to deal with it anymore. Because if that trade, as an example, one trade on the NASDAQ today hit over $2,000, fine. On cases like this right now, the market is done. Just a few minutes ago, the ES spit out $1,000 in a trade. So if we look at the ES, the spike is over for today. Normally the market spikes one time a day. We don't know what time, it could be 9.35 or it could be uh, uh, half an hour before the market closed. We don't know, nobody knows. But we had a good run on the ES And we have catched this good run, whether you are on um, swing trading or on the price action. And this is a very nice, for an ES, this is a very nice run, okay? But what I will do, I will take one contract here. And as we said before, most of the time the market, if it's going, to pull back, there is a re-entry. There is things traders don't understand that when the, when the bar is going down does not mean it is short right now. The, it, this is a very hard for an, a normal trader. If we look at this ES here, is going down on the pullback is not necessarily means long on the pullback because the market do not drop one line, it drops in pieces, pulling back, confirming, dropping in one piece. Look, they are so accurate. And then drop to the final destination to the last line you have on your zone, your $35 zone, and it is 877.25 and then start kicking slowly. It's the same principle right now is doing. The same way on the way down is climbing step by step right front of your eye. And, and, and uh, you know, so the market, if this market fell on that signal, eight out of 10, eight out of 10, I cannot say 10 out of 10 because this is not gonna happen. Eight out of 10. Most of the time the market come into the re-entry point on your chart and you can add one more contract. Why? Because let's say if we are trading one at 86.50. If you have, there is a lot of traders make that mistake. If you have a winning trade, you should not add contract on it. But if the market go in the opposite direction, it's not going in your favor, then you can level out those price and get out if you are in trouble with the futures. So if we have one trade here at uh, 86.50 and that trade did not go to our favor and there is a major pullback, this is your re-entry point is 79.50, okay? Let's make it even so you will understand. Let's say it's, uh, not uh, 75, if it's 28, okay? And you got in in the market at 86, all right? 
by adding one contract here, you level out the price to the three points. So now you are no longer uh, in a hole. Actually, your average price become 83.50 or 83. This way is much easier to exit out of those trades. So very rare, eight out of 10, that market, any market pulling back to those area, they're gonna be projected most of the time. I cannot say all the time, most of the time. So if we notice, if this market fell here, we can add one more contract then we level out somewhere around this area here. If this market got projected, now we are getting a better price and we're still going to be uh, patiently trying to get the target. This is a very, uh, very, um, uh, let's watch it. Let's watch it. Let's watch this market. There is always a way we can exit. There is always a way we can get out of trouble, even when we are auto trading. Let's go back on the ES. There we go. Good. Watch this. I'm going to drag it down so you can see it yourself. In case if this market pulled back to those numbers. Now it's struggling with that area here, the 84.25. Fair enough. But this is the smartest way even if you have a larger amount, to not uh, trade all of them in once at your signal, use one and one here. Let the auto trade take that trade. And if he makes it fine, we're gonna stay on that trade. If it's not, we can add one more right there and level out the price to the middle. You can always exit those trades. But let's look what will happen and I will show you that this market because why we have to understand why the market is going to reject from those area here because those trading stop on the automated trade. Now we have a projection, double support line, forget those. The trading stop one is a floor in FIPS and I have a major support area. So this is your first defense line. Then we have a re-entry point. Then we have a major, major, major support area right there in the fib line and those they move constantly recalculating the chart so in order for that es to penetrate the last stop in here it require a lot of cells it, re it require a lot of cells uh, on the market to penetrate those numbers here so you can always add in uh, this contract right there right here 79.50 even if you're not in the trade try to put 79.50 as an entry point and let's watch it so that that will show you 
those area here are extremely strong area and uh, and uh, and we'll we'll show it to you uh, i've been covering those every single day and very rare those uh of course the market has to go up and down but uh, most of the time the market bounce back from those area here very simple and uh, does not require a lot of knowledge in the trade my estimation 8150 you see this projection my estimation if this es is gonna drop it's not gonna drop below the 8150 my estimation and let's see Actually, I'm going to mark it for you. I was generous and I give it one more take. My estimation is 8150. I give it one one take to get filled. If this ES break down to this area, this is the only entry I have. So this ES have a problem penetrating those those area because you have a double projection in this area. And then followed by uh, trailing stop one is a fib line, re-entry another fib line, and trailing stop two is another uh, fib line. So this is, it's gonna take a lot for this ES to break all those level, and we're gonna watch it right now. I'm gonna put it here on the side, we're gonna watch it. Well, we'll bring it when it comes to it. There is nothing in here. Okay, it's coming to our entry. Let's look. Let's see what will happen. The entry is uh, 8150, but I give it uh, five more takes, uh, one more take to get filled. And let's watch this one here. I'm taking it from that projection, but on a normal day, you need to take it from the re-entry point is 7950, but I can see there is a double projection. So I'm counting on this double projection. But most of the time, the market comes into the re-entry point right there. And this is where we can re-enter the market, add in one more contract on the auto trade.
we had some nice run on the ES NASDAQ Dow Jones, and now we are completely flat. Nothing anymore. What we are doing, we're trying to squeeze the last trade on the ES for today. So let's see if we can squeeze one more trade. Let me show you the YM, still still stuck. And I said in the YM, nothing to trade. If we look at the YM, you see, that's exactly what I'm scared of when you're trying to use an auto trade. When you see this market is stuck between those lines, wait five minutes, 10 minutes, until we have a breakout that area or that area here, then you can start trading it. But as long as this market or any market gets stuck between those lines, wait, uh, don't, don't uh, keep your eye on the market. Don't jump on the market for safety. I mean, you know, if you don't know what, what, you, what you're doing, so safety is number one uh, on those trades. The ES is not going anywhere. I missed the trade on the CL. I cannot, I'm sorry guys, I cannot uh, follow everything, but I missed it. Out of the band. Missed it. I cannot call anything I have missed. So let's see what is this ES got taken us. The question for the, the, the swing trading. On the swing trading, I'm using market order. I'm not using limited order, but you can use limited order. For swing trading, I don't care about the plus minus one tick. I don't care about it. So I use market order. Watch this market. You see guys, look, and I give it extra tick, look at it. A lot of guys trying to sell and trying to push this market down. Look. Beautiful. And I said I give it extra 
take. Try to be generous with it. If we are able to break this area here, we have a very good potential to next stop is 9025 on that trade. There we go, folks. You can see those fibs pay off their self in one trade, or they can solve you one trade a month. If they solve you one trade a month, they pay off itself immediately. So now, our eye on this number, 8450. This is a magic key, the 8425. It is your magic key. If we break the 84.25, we are in a new right all the way up here. There we go. Gentlemen, those are your $35 FIPS. You can pinpoint the re-entry and the exit on any given market. And it is amazing job. And the price is... $35 a month. One trade with those or avoiding one bad trade, those they pay off their self on the first day. And believe me, we're not making money out of it. It's just making problems for us, a lot of work. So we're not getting rich out of it. It's just something trader, I think, should have. And uh, we are using this just for promotions, actually. We're not getting anything out of those trades. So again, guys, this is the way, uh, the smartest way, especially for the NASDAQ trader. You take one trade at the signal entry. And then if this NASDAQ going back to those area here, then we can re-enter one more. And uh, the beauty about it is $5 a tick. So it's not as expensive as uh, the ES. And a day in and a day out, you have seen how many ticks uh, the NASDAQ write every day in front of you, every day, the same time, the same chart. You know, so the way we nailed that ES and and also given it one tick, being generous. And now we are climbing all the way to the Two things in this life I like to work. When I was a kid, uh, two things in my life uh, since when I was a kid, airplanes and trading. When my father used to give me allowance, when uh, I used to go buy Japanese yen and I used to buy gold coins with my allowance. And the reason I used to buy the Japanese yen because they made a lot of money, papers. Back then, it didn't, I mean, I was a kid, but it felt like it was too much money on the dollar back then. 
and I used to uh, chase the gold coin, buy one and sell one. And uh, there is nothing better than a trading. Uh, the, I went and worked with the airlines and um, worked. And we had our good days with the airlines. And uh, we had bad days also with the airlines, but trading, once you become a trader and you know the potential in the trading and the risk in the trading, there is nothing in this life you wanna do because every day is new. You never get bored with it. You never, because you never know every day what you will have. But the difference is when you know what's going on in the market, that is, is gonna give you pleasure, a challenge uh, to, to trade. Now on this one, on this break out here on the ES, it's really not scaring me because this is a pullback and we have a support line at 84.50 I need to keep my eye on it, but I'm not worried too much about this pullback, you know. We have a strong hold in this area here. We have a very strong hold and um, it's not gonna make me worry a lot on this area here and if you keep your eye tick by tick, it could be also potential for a re-entry on the pullback right there. But don't ever add on a winning trade. Don't do that. Don't do that. The only time you add a, a trade on a losing one to level out your prices, because if you add one more trade right there, your average is gonna be here. Now I'm given enough gap for this market. So I don't wanna get closer to the market. I need to be away from the market. So this is a, please be careful. Some traders do that. Uh, folks, this is an hour and a half live uh, I'm beat. Uh, and uh, I wanna say thank you very much. Um, if you like us, give us a thumb up. Thank you very much for your support. And I hope we've been getting a lot of positive feed. And um, we'll see you tomorrow the same time at 10 o'clock. And, um, you know, I wish you the best for today. There is nothing left in the market. So please uh, do not. We had a beautiful run this morning. Uh, the market spiked enough made tons of money, uh, despite the market is not really, it's a mix, it's not like yesterday. Uh, the NASDAQ is one direction all day long. So uh, there is nothing left. Not unless if there is some kind of news uh, gonna come later on today, uh, gonna spike the market, but the, the, the party is over folks for today. So please turn off your uh, live trading. If you did the trade today, you're done. If you have not, the party is over uh, trading. So turn on the sim, trying to practice, trying to do something else. Even for auto trades, uh, from now till after lunch, don't do anything with the auto trade because it's, it's the, the market is just freaking out. There is nothing to do. Thank you very much. God bless you. And uh, see you tomorrow at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time. Bye for now.